Wow, my hair is absolutely huge. Holy Hannah Montana. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels really weird to sit here and be talking. I think the last time I sat and chatted was my Christmas tag video, so that was a little bit before Christmas. This isn't even a chat, this is a haul. But basically, the point is, I've missed sitting and talking to you. I'm also going to be going on a live stream straight after this video. I'm filming this video, so that reminds me to tell you to follow me on you now if you don't already, because I stream almost every day. Well, I try to. I fit a few in a week though. Link down there. It's called You Now. Become a fan of me on it and it will tell you when I stream. It's a great platform, I love it. So yeah! I got my hot chocolate, got my fox, got my ridiculously short hair cut, which I did the other day. That's also in a previous vlog. If you haven't watched the previous vlog, what are you doing? Don't be so mean, watch my videos. <laughs> I love it though, I love short hair, just I'm loving this whole everyone chop off your hair phase we're going through right now. It's quite, what's the word? When you feel like you can take on the world, liberating. I got there eventually. Also, you might notice I've got like specks of glitter all over my face. I attempted to put like blue glitter on my eyes early this morning. I literally used a makeup wipe and it's gone all over my face. It was just on my eyes but now there's blue glitter. It's now 9pm, the glitter still doesn't come off. So let's hop on to I saw it first because they are a great brand that I recently got into from Helen Anderson. I think she worked with them, like they flew her out to somewhere to do this really cool like sponsor work which is amazing. I saw it first, why aren't you hooking me up? Just kidding. <laughs> but really. I really like them. I fell in love with them because I saw their glittery play suit first which is what Helen was in and I was like, I'm gonna be talking about them and then I'm gonna be talking about a sock company afterwards which is random but uh, if I don't I will regret it so yeah I'm gonna link everything that I show you in this video down there in the description this isn't a sponsored video I they haven't even sent me these things this was all my own money I do have a lot of sponsored videos coming up on my channel soon though I'm just a little bit worried people are gonna get frustrated by the amount but hey Ellie's getting lucky and people are supporting her so please don't kill me support your local youtubers yo they were doing a 75% sale I got a text from them saying hey we've got 70 75% off would you like to shop and I was like I would like to shop please I'm gonna tell you the prices of all this stuff obviously as I show it and it's gonna blow your socks off and then I'm gonna show you some socks that you can wear once they're blown off for starters all of this stuff I'm about to show you came to 30 pounds my best friend's big birthday party is coming up soon she never really hosts anything for her birthdays usually and this year she's going full kazam blam thank you ma'am next month so I needed to get something for that oh my god Okay, I have my boobs out. <laughs> my button has just popped off on my dress. You can't see it, it's out of shot, thank God. But that would have been very embarrassing, even though I just showed you it anyway. <laughs> anyway, I wanted something sparkly and pretty for a birthday night out because you can't not have a birthday without sparkling. She was really jealous of this herself. She wants it herself because it's so nice. And it's one of those things that's gonna be very hard to get the true color on for you. I had to get this in a size 14 even though I'm 12 because I knew it wasn't going to be that stretchy material, it was going to be material that was going to like suck in everything, not suck in everything but like stick to everything and although I'm proud to be like curvaceous and have a little bit of junk in my trunk, sometimes there are parts of me where I'm like would rather that not be there. I got a size up just in case, I'm so glad I did because it's fairly short, like I could see on the model it's going to be a very short dress and then when this came my mum was like is that a dress or a shirt? You could layer this up to make so many cool different outfits. You can wear it on its own for an evening and then you could have it as a daytime dress maybe if you layer it up and that. I could think of endless possibilities for this. £5.25. Next up, this gorgeous little number. This is a faux leather skirt and I've already got a skirt very similar to this. I just loved the detailing on the front of the studs going all the way up the zip and then the embroidered roses on either side here. I also got this in a, in a 14 because of the stretch. Like, I don't like my clothes very tight because things that don't have stretch, I go a size up just to be safe. It is so precious and cute and gorgeous and once again with this I could think of multiple outfits for this. Very similar to a skirt that I had in a recent lookbook video that I made for my channel. If you haven't seen that video yet, watch it. I rarely make lookbooks and when I do a lot of time goes into it so if you could check out my lookbook, lookbook video that I recently made. Love this, very cute and it was only 
£5.25. I'm very slow with fashion trends. I'm slow with trends in general. I'm the type of person that sees a new trend and then they're like, mm, that's weird. And then finally I'm like, might as well hop on that bandwagon two years later. But I never really got into bodysuits until now, like, um, simply because they're starting to make ones that I like a bit more. I love mesh bodysuits with like really funky designs like stripes or like this for instance is a spider web one. You can't really tell in this light but it's so cute and it also isn't a stretchy material but I decided to risk it and just get it in a 12 because I didn't want it to be baggy and like saggy look like I've got a layer of skin or something hanging off me so love this and I can't wait to once again pair this with so many different outfits and just try so many different things with it different styles and types of outfits and just like experiment with it basically. How much was that? £3.75. I think it was in the Halloween section, that's why it's so cheap. And people apparently don't want to wear Halloween stuff anymore. Like who cares it's not Halloween now? Like give me all the Halloween stock for free if you're trying to get rid of it. I saw it first. That's fine. In the try on clips you just saw, I was also wearing this bad boy that I managed to nab. Mmm. Red. Mmm, it's not apparently. Oh, burgundy. So yeah, I mainly got this to go with my little mesh bodysuit because the model was wearing this with just a black like bodysuit mesh thing. And I was like, mm, that looks so like grungy. I loved how it looked. So um, I'll probably just wear this without a bra, do you think? Would I risk it for a chocolate biscuit? Probably. Probably clashes with my hair because I don't know whether redhead should wear red or not. People have lots of opinions about that, but I still don't know where I stand for that one. Um, Let's stick to the red theme, shall we? I saw this tartan like a as soon as there's tartan guys, especially when there's tartan on sale, I always have to have a little look. This is just a crop top. I got a lot of crop tops. I'm not even sure why I got so many crop tops. If anyone could give me some like advice, tips or like inspiration for putting things with crop tops, I would love to know because I love crop tops so much I just always get stuck with what to put them with. Obviously there's high waisted stuff like jeans and shorts and high waisted skirts. Is there anything else we can do? Like let me know what you put crop tops with. But this is a zippy up. Um, front which scares me because someone might come along and unzip it someone's done that to me in a nightclub before thank you very much Lorna and I was naked in the club really like this got this in a 12 hopefully it will fit my tatters but yeah look how cute that is oh I love redheads wearing tartan looks so good I love it so much how much was that four pounds fifty it did come with a skirt actually you could get like an all-in-one thing also in the Halloween section was this bite me bitch no doesn't it just says bite me very cool this is the kind of thing like I would love to bring out on my shop store like that would be cool if I could bring out stuff like this haven't been doing anything on my shop at the moment but Christmas stuff's still on there if you want any of that. <laughs> it's almost a top so I can wear this with high-waisted jeans and get away with it like just. You know sometimes a shop says crop top and it's basically a bra and then another time it would say crop top and it's basically a shirt like this is in between the both. It's simple it's simple but in your face because it's like bite me and everyone's like oh my god she's so edgy and I'm like I oh, know. Something also similar to that was another Wow, I got a lot of crop tops. Maybe this belonged in the Halloween section too? Oh, by the way, that Bite Me top was £2.50, which is insane. This one was £2, oh my god. And this was £2 too, I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. I don't even know who or what this is supposed to be. It just says stay, and there's a half lady face, and then a half skull, and they're just being cool, and I like it, and it's it's quite this is a shorter crop top but the sleeves are longer on this one is that longer yeah that's quite a long sleeve actually didn't realize that don't really know what it is or what it's supposed to mean or what what but i just like it and that's all that matters clearly i've lost my mind and i'm not currently in winter even though we're in january because i got another crop top this one is also oh it smells nice unzipped because I was wearing it to the pub yesterday. I actually wore it underneath this dress because of that button always popping open so I wore it as like, I wore the dress kind of open-ish. I wore this as a bra is basically what I'm saying. So I can wear this under things where you can still kind of see through it if that makes sense. These bits on the side are like suede. One little section of the top here and here is a bit of suede and then it goes back to polyester. Cool. Don't know why I went into so much detail about that but I really liked that. And that's all the things I got from 
I saw it first. At festival season last year, their sequin range was just phenomenal. Actually, while we're on the topic of talking about new stuff that I've got and new things I'm loving and things that I've bought, just want to quickly talk about this bag that has slayed my whole life and existence. <sighs> I got this from Skinny Dip. Skinny Dip is another brand that I'm falling in love with right now. I love it so much. Like, I'm always on there every now and again, like, what's in the sale today? Skinny Dip are my vibes. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out. They just have everything that I would want in my wardrobe and more. If I was a celebrity and could just click my fingers and get my agent to go to a shop and fill my wardrobe, is that what celebrities do? I don't, I don't know how it works. But if that was how it was done, I would tell him Oh my god. I have only just realised the words MTV are printed all over the bag. I am so dumb. Look close, I didn't notice. They're printed, it's print- look you can see that. See that? MTV? MTV, 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 MTV. <gasps> I knew it was called an MTV bag, but I didn't know why. Skinny Dip is printed on the back here and also on the zips. They also had a holographic side bag and it's currently in the sale but I don't have the money right now so if anyone wants to surprise me for a uh, early birthday present then please get me the holographic side bag from Skinny Dip it's on sale right now thank you very much <laughs> just joking oh god my boobies are out it gets so many comments you won't believe the amount of people who are like wow <sighs> I love wearing things that start conversations. Next though, I want to be talking about socks. To be fair though, we all know as we've gotten older in life, we appreciate a sock a lot more. Remember Christmas time came along and you got a pair of socks and you were really angry about it, but now you're just like, praise the Lord, Uncle Jim has got me some socks. I didn't buy these myself, I was sent these, but I haven't been told to make this video. I was actually told to make an Instagram post if I wanted to. So the brand is called Living Royal Socks. So it says, which I didn't actually realise until just now, free shipping on all orders. But I know that they're designed and printed in the USA, um, specifically Chicago, and each sock is handmade. I'm gonna show you my favourite one first, because people hate it when I say frickin', but Freaking cool. These takeaway socks, like loads of takeaway boxes, and this part here is glitter. It's textured and it's all scratchy. And look at this holographic packaging. My world right now is just holographic everything. Okay, so obviously I've just spoken um, spoken about these socks in the video you're watching right now. Maybe things will change over time, but the stretch in them is awful. I mean, I'm a size six five six i'm size five i wouldn't say that's too big and these are supposed to be a one size fit all situation look at it when it stretches it loses color i had such high hopes for these socks i'm still obviously gonna wear them but i'm really disappointed i've got a couple of very sad feet now <laughs> they are nice like they're wearable i would obviously make full use of these expect it to dull down a bit so the next pair i picked were these glow in the dark these actually glow in the dark socks but the part of the sock that glows in the dark is this star here and this star here these are probably the worst because it's black so oh this is so annoying and then i've got this one which is a 90s inspired i think uh sock how cool is this these dinosaurs glow in the dark too everything that i love right now is on this sock it's a mermaid tail so when you wear it next to the other leg and put it together you look like you've got a mermaid's tail um they had different colors and stuff but i decided to pick the multicolored one because it looked most like a mermaid oh it's the little things these are so soft and cozy as well and i also got a pair of dinosaur ones because that's freaking cool and let me know if you love my hauls because i need to know what is wanted on this channel and last but not least this beautiful beast is my featured poop troop member which is wearing one of my pieces of pieces of merch she wore this shirt on a night out whilst clubbing so if that doesn't say support i don't know what will <laughs> so thank you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to be notified every time i make a brand new video i'm on social media such as twitter facebook instagram and snapchat i'll see you for my next one bye <laughs>